Some things have changed in Copilot on the web, including how balance mode works. I'm the Productivity Coach, and today I show you how. Hi, I'm Stuart Redout, the Productivity Coach, and I work as part of our modern work and AI ecosystem here at Microsoft. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Copilot on the web. So this is the freely available Copilot that anyone's got access to if they use a work account or a personal account, anything at all, Xbox, Outlook, Hotmail, any of those things. And you can get to it in a few places uh, in the side on uh, of, of your Edge browser. Um, it's coming into Windows 11, but also the way that I prefer to do it is to go onto the web at copilot.microsoft.com. And there have been some changes, both in terms of the user interface, what it looks like, um, and also how it functions um, with some reported changes happening in the model that powers the balance mode. But before I go through and show you the demo, I just want to ask you to subscribe to this channel, like the video and share it, um, because my metrics show that lots of people uh, engage with the video uh, and look at it, but they don't end up subscribing. So if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button now, and then you'll get notified when my next piece of Copilot content or anything to do with Microsoft comes up. But let's have a look uh, and see what we're talking about here in Copilot on the web. So here I am in Copilot. Um, it doesn't look that different right now. You can see all these suggestions here. Um, and we've got our different modes here. Um, but one of the first things that yeah, is changed is when you put a prompt in. So here I can see what what should I pack for a 10 day trip in a mountainous region? Now, previously this would have scrolled up, but what you can see now in Copilot is it's got this clean view here where it's now just got the prompt and then it's got the response. And I, I guess that the reason behind that was that it was too fussy with it moving up and things like this. It wanted to look a little bit neater. So that immediately is a, a new change that I can see straight away there. With how that the other one which is a big change is something about balance mode so i saw this on reddit where somebody was saying it might be worth trying balance mode again uh, and they've put some screenshots here and you can see the difference uh, between uh, kind of creative mode and balance mode now this was uh, this guy here actually sent a tweet or an X uh, on X um, to Mikhail, who is super, somebody super senior in Microsoft engineering here. And he actually confirmed that they are flighting a new base model called Deucalion um, and uh, and to definitely kind of try it out. Now we can see that this kind of keeps going on in, on Bing. People are noticing, they're seeing that the prompt results are getting better. Here we've got one which is comparing a prompt on the old model and then now on the new model. So it really looks different. It's got richer graphics, um, but also it's structured much better and it's got loads of links here. So I thought that we would just give it a go ourselves. So um, I'm gonna move into balance. Now, normally I am a precise mode fan. I prefer precise mode, but uh, we can move into balance here. And I'm gonna ask what is driving the recent growth in Microsoft stock price? and hit enter. So again, we can see here, we've got this new look where we've got rid of all of those buttons at the top uh, as it responds here. And we can see that it's now starting to give us our result. Um, it's now including these images here on the side and making it super clear where those links are. Um, let's just try a few other questions just to see what that looks like. Um, so here, this was one of the suggested questions on how does it compare to other tech companies? And we can see, um, and we can see those answers there. Um, and again, let's just do one more in here, kind of what was in Microsoft's most recent quarterly report uh, to the market. Now, just a reminder, Copilot is completely free here. Um, and it because it uses web search to power it, it searches the most late the latest information all the time. Whereas if you want that from something like ChatGPT, you have to pay a subscription. So we can see here it's given us a really clear answer. Um, I definitely feel, unfortunately I don't have like equivalent prompts from uh, from the previous model I could com compare them to, but it definitely seems clearer. Let's try a different one here. Maybe something uh, that's more local to me. So like find great Indian restaurants near me. Okay, and that uses again the power uh, of Bing as well as uh, as well as Copilot to uh, to find that for me. 
Okay, so you can see here it knows where I am. It obviously pulls that out from the browser. You have to give permission for it to know where you are. But you can see here that it's picked five really good Indian restaurants near me. And then it's also pulled up this map now with all of the links uh, showing the, where they are on the map. And we've got this new um, kind of bar here, including this read aloud uh, function here. And if I click that, just wait here. So you can see from a kind of an accessibility perspective, it's much, much better there um, because it, it will read things out to you and, and stuff like this. So those are just a, a couple of the changes that have just kind of landed really in the last couple of days here in uh, Copilot on the web. Um, so I would definitely go and encourage you to go and try it out, um, if, especially if you're already using another AI service and have a look at Copilot because it is completely free. You can generate images. It uses the latest uh, GPT-4 models. Um, it's also got plugins to other things. So you can generate songs and um, pieces of music and all sorts of really cool things like that. So definitely, definitely uh, give it a go. I'd be really interested to know your thoughts and whether you think that balance mode has improved. Um, as I say, in the video there I haven't used balance mode a lot because I didn't really love some of the responses that was coming back so I tended to kind of move into the precise mode uh, because that gave me a little bit more reliability but certainly from the prompts that I've been using in today's demo I would definitely go back and give a balance mode another try so I know this was a really short video uh, but again hit subscribe I uh, hope you found this useful and I'll see you again on another video